Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I'm going to relay some messages that came out while I was shuffling the cards. And then we're going to lay out the spread for this month's reading, okay? I feel like this is going to be a very, very big uh, career changer and a very busy month for you guys. Um, what I'm sensing is it feels to me as if there are going to be... Um, a lot of serious discussions with higher ups, with bosses, with people in regards to your career. And I feel like this isn't just, you know, something very lofty. Um, the career might actually require a major move. So that means a geographical move. It might be require that you uproot, you know, wherever you're living right now to move to a different area. So I feel like it's a major career boost, but with it comes a lot of responsibilities, okay? There is a little bit of a time crunch coming through, I feel like, from uh, the 20th and, and uh, so forth, okay? Um, there's important news, I feel, coming through around that time where if, if you you haven't been diligent about, you know, packing up, about organizing your things, just be really careful that you take the active steps by the beginning of the month to get that going for yourself, okay? Because I feel like it can all, you know, cram up and, and really dig into your free time. I feel almost like some of you are giving an ultimatum. Um, it, it I don't know if it's like a, you can exactly say an ultimatum, but it feels like there's major decisions that need to happen in your relationship sector. And I feel that you are going to be the ones to uh, bring up, you know, the the relationship issues. Okay, um, not so much because not so much that it's causing problems, but I feel that you know the the person that you're with might not be completely in alignment with uh, the life that you want. So geographically, you might need to leave, you know, the person behind the the same uh, location behind in order to move on to something new. So. I almost feel like a big communication when it comes to, you know, love relationships, that's going to be in the works. I also feel that the energy is so strong for um, career boost that you might not really have time, you know, to socialize as much this month. And um, by the way, I just want to wish you all a very happy birthday for those who are celebrating the end of this month. Um, I feel like, you know, despite all of that, um, there might not be a, a lot, a lot, a lot of time coming through for uh, recreational, you know, fun, excitement, etc. Okay, so my advice here overall, I'm going to use this card because I feel like it's important. My advice here is, um, you know, just just get things started. Don't procrastinate on anything, especially the first two weeks. We have the Mercury in retrograde period in the April time frame. So I feel like a lot of things were stalled for you. A lot of things have come to an end. A lot of things have revealed themselves to be not feasible, like down the line. And so you had to reprioritize. You had to shift, you know, your focus. Many times in the April time frame, things were just like stall, stall, stall. And so this is the month in which, you know, the, the retrograde period lifts on the third. And so you're getting a lot of green light. You're getting, you know, a lot more of, um, you're getting a lot more, I, I want to say like, um, momentum and traction in all areas of your life. And I feel that because of it, there will be many important discussions with bosses, with higher ups, with people that can really give you a major boost in the next phase of your life. OK, opportunities for collaboration, opportunities for uh, linking yourself up with different companies, different associations so that you can do something and apply your skills where it's needed. OK, so. I'm sensing that a lot of you are in a position where you're not willing to um, to put your career on hold for another person. You're in also in a position where you realize the importance of, you know, devoting a lot more time um, in the work front and really getting your hands dirty, physically getting your hands dirty, doing whatever is necessary to get things moving in the work front that you you've been hoping for. OK, so very busy month. Keep on top of things. Don't procrastinate. Okay, so those are the main uh, keywords. So let me just go into this reading. First of all, let me talk about this energy. The Empress. The Empress basically indicates, you know, taking control of your domain, exerting your influence, exerting your power, and um, 
I feel like you you're gonna be called upon sometime this month to really stick to what you've been doing and uh, don't let other people persuade you in a specific course of action you really need to focus on what your ideas are okay and defending your ideas uh, even in the face of opposition I feel that you're gonna be pulled in multiple directions with this card so this is a really important card that signifies that whatever you have um, at your disposal whatever ideas you've come up with whatever you really strongly believe in don't fold don't um, you know acquiesce to other people who are pushing you and especially if they are experts in their field if they are people that are you know very knowledgeable have a good reputation overall I feel that it's really important to on the one hand listen to them but on the other hand form your own opinions okay so everything is very internal and this is pretty much telling you that you have enough experience under your belt to form your own opinions without succumbing or without um, you know uh, fluctuating back and forth between what other people want from you versus what you want to carry out in projects what you want to carry out within yourself so it's just something to be very careful about for this month okay um, you're on top of the game you have a lot of skills a lot of expertise and people will be coming to you to um, demand you know like um, to demand you know um, either inputs from you or to persuade you to invest in them or to persuade you in a certain to to dabble in a certain venture that they're involved with so you're sitting pretty with the offers coming to you so it looks very good overall just don't get too easily swayed either way okay this is a card about uh, people who are especially employed in the beauty industry okay fashion beauty even communication as it relates to fashion in the beauty industry so for those of you who are working in in those sectors I feel that you're gonna be hot commodity I feel that you're gonna be in very high demand and there's a lot of work a lot of um, I feel like advertisements a lot of um, a lot of ideas that you're churning out you're also stamping your name to these products that you feel are being marketed okay so just make sure you pick and choose very carefully so that it doesn't hurt your reputation okay so I feel you're stamping your name or you're backing a specific product either for beauty or for fashion and even for like you know music recreation too but that's very minor and I feel like the majority of it's going to be beauty and fashion make sure that your stamp of approval is for legitimate products okay don't be swayed into doing something that you feel is not 100% um, kosher 100% legitimate okay um, the other areas that are coming through here is um, I feel for some of you you're thinking about long term about purchasing property settling down in a specific location where you can you know stay for a couple of years so I feel a lot of you you know you, you love to travel but at the same time I feel that emotionally it might have taken its toll on you okay on the one hand travel is great it's exciting it brings about new friendships and new alliances but I feel that the life uh, tends to feel a little bit lonely okay and as a result of it uh, for those who have been you know globetrotting and traveling um, even within you know the the, the country that you're in um, relationships might have been put on the back burner and this is the month in which you start to realize that you want to cultivate more something a little bit more stable you want to cultivate you know meaningful relationships as well and, and love relationships and you feel as if your work might um, you know interfere with that process and so I feel a lot of you are heavily thinking about purchasing property that you might physically live in or you might put up for investment and I feel some of you want to stay put for the next you know two or three years so that you can cultivate these relationships okay you can cultivate you know new relationships and and especially seek more romantic partnerships um, if you are involved here with the water sign so this is a Pisces cancer or Scorpio I feel overall this is somebody you have very strong um, attraction uh, attraction to and I also feel this is somebody that you don't have a lot in common with so I feel like it's an opposites attract type of energy okay it's very exciting it's very thrilling and there's really really intense romance and chemistry um, but it's kind of difficult to figure out you know how which direction things are headed and whether or not this is somebody that uh, you see 
being in your life, whether or not your paths will coincide with each other in the long run. So I feel like on the one hand, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of support. There's a lot of like uh, mutual agreement between you and this person. It's almost like despite the differences in the ways that you, you live your life and the way you both operate, I feel that, you know, communication, seeing eye to eye is not really the problem. You do see eye to eye and you really, you know, admire this person for their ability to be, uh, to, to like hold up their end of the bargain. And they likewise believe uh, that you can, you know, hold up your end of the bargain too. But your path might be starting to diverge because of some bigger plans that you have for yourself. Okay. So I do feel that this is, um, the relationship sector might be the, the major, major theme coming through for the month of May. Um, I'm sensing that many of you are, um, either you have either moved into a home, you're making your home into you're making your house into a home so either decorating designing um i'm seeing a lot of people doing interior design and so you have projects left and right you're in high demand people are you know reaching out to you from possibly vast distances for you to um, give them advice and give them input so your financial situation for this uh, month i feel that it's really important to keep um the balance in check okay i see a lot of frivolous spending actually i feel like um last month things were really good you had a lot of uh, projects you had a lot of collaborators this might be the month where you need to curb your spending a little bit because i see you bouncing around a lot making purchases that might be considered impulsive making purchases that might be like very frivolous okay so you know like uh, emotional spending like feeling stressed out feeling you know like um you're inundated with a lot of work and you feel like you want to reward yourself just be very careful about spending overall okay um child support issues um child rearing, child support issues, as well as some type of uh, legality surrounding, you know, uh, whether or not you, you have enough money to uh, afford counsel. I do see this card overall indicates like uh, legal issues, okay? Legal issues as to, you know, things that you might have done in the past that are coming back. So for those of you who might have um, had a few, I, I, I want to say like, um, under the table deals or things regarding your financial situation that's going to be coming up for re-examination through an official body okay so you might get um summons for you know jury duty for court cases to be a witness or to even you know um submit additional documents in order to satisfy the requirements for this court case so i do see that element coming through for you and i do feel like um workers compensation for some of you um some some things here that that looks to me like it's from the past and it's coming back for re-examination for this month something that you know a few years ago it, it was it was considered like um water under the bridge but i feel like it's being brought up and um, just know that you have the fortitude and, you know, the strength to get through this. So don't blow it out of proportion. Don't dwell too much on it. Whatever, um, whatever information they need from you. And I feel like a lot of you might have be in a position where you need to make a lot of copies of, you know, uh, official documents, make a lot of copies, submit all everything in your dossier to an authority figure, to like a, an institution. So make copies of everything, making sure that you do it in a timely manner. Don't, um, a lot of the times too, you know, when it's something that you've considered very tedious, you don't really want to do it and you might avoid it, avoid, avoid. And so my uh, suggestion here is do not procrastinate on anything. Okay. If there is a court situation that you need to submit a lot of documents for, like making papers or filling forms out, don't procrastinate on it because I feel like it might not be in your best favor to do it for this month. Okay aside from that this is your energy here and um excuse me i have a little bit of a runny nose so i apologize this is your energy as the king of swords okay and the king of swords is a situation where we feel almost as if we're not able to communicate adequately we feel almost as if people are overlooking what we have to say 
And um, this is a very important card because it's basically telling me in this combination here, you are in a position of power and authority. You have a lot of control and sway over your environment and affecting, you know, specific outcomes, persuading people to your point of view. And so the, the important thing here is to present information and to present your argument in a very self-assured way. OK, so when you have like a specific idea that you want to bring forth, if you are in a position where you need to sell yourself to a specific financier, to a specific boss, to a an authority figure, uh, to somebody in your work environment that can, you know, give you opportunities to expand okay for opportunities for pay increases for raises etc um, present all your achievements in a very straightforward in a very methodical way okay don't segue don't go off on tangents don't meander because um a lot of the times gemini's i feel like you you want to communicate uh, very thoroughly so you might have a habit of like over explaining situations and when you over explain without you know the other person the other side soliciting the information from you it makes them seem it, it make them think that you have something that you want to skirt over okay so present data present information present your side of the story in a very cogent coherent and especially in a very honest way okay so I feel like that's going to be in, uh, to your, your benefit if you can, you know, present an idea in a very concise way. If they ask follow up question, then yes, you can elaborate. But, you know, I feel that elaborating from the get go might not be in your best interest. OK, so I feel for some of you, um, you might be dealing with some people in the work environment. And I feel like, you know, bosses, uh, people that you you. Uh, want to impress or people that are that already see you as someone who's quite competent okay so you don't you can let your experience speak for themselves without having to you know go out of your way to impress anybody but at the same time communicate in a way that allows them to see you know communicate in a way that allows them to see more of this emotional side rather than the rational side so in um, communicating more from the heart and especially um learning what's really important to present first that's going to be really important for you um i'm also feeling like this and this is going to apply to a very small minority of you okay it's really important for us to play nice this month and you know once again this message is going to apply for a very small minority i feel that some of you are in a position are in a position where you are starting out okay so you've started at a new position and um, I feel like there you you might feel like there is a lot of unfairness coming through, especially from like a female boss. OK, so you feel like, oh, this person is not being fair to you. This person is uh, picking you out for, you know, a specific um, for a specific like um, procedural error or some type of for some reason, they're just um there might be you know you might be working at odds with them so if that's the case here's the thing i feel that you might not know the whole story okay and so if you're just starting out and you have somebody that is kind of like hovering over you telling you you should do this you should do that if you're just starting out and you feel like um why are they you know so um critical of me the the thing here is that they've been in their field for many many years right they they're in a position of power and status and so it's really important for you to also you know uh be very very humble and to, and to realize that maybe there there are things that i don't know completely so maybe the advice that they're giving you i feel like they're trying to help you okay and at the same time you need this job you need it for survival you need it for the basic necessities you also want to maintain a very harmonious environment within the work pl uh, place as well and so whatever this person is telling you maybe there's some merit to it maybe there's some truth to it especially if you have a female authority figure that you feel for whatever reason um, you know, like, like curb your tongue is, is what I'm feeling. Okay. Be very careful about, um, 
not taking this situation personally, just don't take it personally, okay? Think about, okay, so what do I need to learn from this and how can I improve, okay? And so I feel like somebody is trying to help you and you might be a little bit sensitive or defensive and you might want, not want to take on um, whatever it is that they're advising. So overall, here's the thing. Things are going to be busy this month, okay? And if we're going to spend the time to really argue with another person, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to detract you from doing your job. It's going to upset you emotionally. And so the, the thing here is think about what you can do to harmonize the work environment. Think about what you can do to make things easier for everybody involved, okay? It might require making the harder decision. And I feel honestly, you're going to come to the point where you're not going to take things personally and you're going to uh, do make the decision that is in the interest of the, the greater good, okay? So it's all about you harmonizing, trying to harmonize the environment so that you have a good work environment where you can begin to thrive and you don't have to worry about your job security, okay? So I'm just going to leave it at that and let me just go into your love relationship portion of your reading. So Geminis, you have a relationship uh, partner that's coming through here. This is um, somebody that is um, could be a fire sign, so a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo, okay? For those of you in a committed relationship, um, I feel like you, you feel like this is a, a somebody that is very dependable, very reliable, and you can go the distance with, okay? Um, on the negative side, this person, um, I feel like they, they are very territorial. They are, they can be very possessive and they can also be a little bit like on the, um, you know, w with the jealous streak. Okay. They do care to a really strong extent. They, they care a lot, but I feel like, you know, the negative side is they're innately very jealous. They don't show it though. So just, you know, if you're in a relationship, just make sure that this person has all your full attention. When you're with them, try to avoid using electronics, text messaging, etc., and really be in the moment with them because I feel like they feel that you're drifting away. They feel like you're, you know, handling multiple projects and getting yourself very, very distracted. This person, I feel, has a really good heart, but they feel that they can't trust you 100%, okay? So if you're involved with this person, male or female, uh, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, I'm sensing that they're trying to coax you, you know, let's go out for date night and you might be very busy with work. So rather than telling them, oh, I'm busy, you know, uh, set up an alternate time where you might not be busy so that you can cater to this person. I feel a lot of um, communication coming through from this person overall, okay? I feel like they want to either, so if, if there's somebody that you just met and you are trying to date, I feel that, you know, they wear their heart on their sleeves. Their intentions are going to be very clear. And so I'm sensing that, you know, they're going to solicit you multiple times. Let's go to, you know, get coffee here. Let's go to the movies on Thursday. Let's go to the park on Saturday, etc. So I feel like there is going to be multiple options. And then if you are so busy that you're turning them down, um, all of those times, but all of if you're turning down all of those invites, then I feel that they're going to get um, a little bit sulky and, you know, defensive. And they might not be their, their bright, vibrant self the next time you actually have time. So when you actually have time, they might say that, oh, you know, I've got other engagements. You know, I'm, I'm seeing uh, family. I'm seeing friends. Uh, I don't have time. So I feel like there is a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a jealous streak. I feel associated with this person. Okay. Um, I feel like for some of you, there is a relationship that is solidified here with an Earth sign. So we have here Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, and I'm, I'm seeing this based on this is a family situation or this is a taking the relationship to the next level is linked up here with an earth sign, okay? So you have an offer that's made available to take the relationship to the next level to either, you know, um, I, I feel like it's something very, very solid and it's very uh, something that is very linear. So for example, if you started dating, you might decide to move in together. You might decide to, you know, um, somebody might be dealing with fertility because that Empress card did come out earlier and this is traditionally a mother figure. So I feel like if you are, for whatever reason, you know, find yourself expecting a child, I feel like there's going to be serious discussions here with a an earth sign 
regarding taking the relationship to the next level or even regarding a fire sign about you know what do we do like where do we go from here naturally like what's the natural progression of this relationship so we've got some good things here we have here the two of cups and it is linked up here with this fire sign the two of cups basically means you know there is a lot of um mutual understanding a lot of um i, I feel like it's a, it's a soul connection but in a way where you can finish each other's sentences, you have similar life experiences. So when you talk to each other, the, the other person just gets it. You don't have to over explain. You don't have to, you know, uh, use specific examples. They just get you on a very deep rooted level. And I feel like you are also very protective of this person. Okay. So it's linked up here, fire sign. So Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And, uh, with this card, this is the, um, this is the Knight of Swords. Okay fastest moving night in the deck this is somebody who um who's very easily excitable okay so i feel like you've got some new passions here and you've got somebody that you are heavily communicating with okay so that's sun moon arising sagittarius aries or leo i feel that in the past you put your love life on hold okay you you've been through some difficult relationships and the difficult relationships here with the nine of wands, it's almost like wanting to give up, not really believing in love anymore, not really trusting people anymore. I feel like some of you honestly might have been through like, you know, one or two divorces in your past. And at this point, you're very closed off and you're just like, I just want to, you know, play the field, have fun and not be committed to anybody seriously. So you've put your love life on hold. Or you might have been casually dating, um, but not wanting to invest in anybody specifically. I feel some of you might have gone through a cycle where you dated different people, but they have the same energies, okay? And a lot of it, uh, that information is coming through here with the uh, hangman. The hangman is all about, you know, withdrawing and finding information from within, sort of like that hermit. It's almost like sacrificing something in order to achieve greater enlightenment. So I feel like some of you might have gone through, you know, dating the same, uh, the different people, but their energy is very similar. So the relationships didn't work out and you're asking yourself like, you know, what's the problem? Why do I keep encountering these same relationships? And I feel like for a lot of it, you have to, you know, make the sacrifice, which is not going with the people that have that sense of familiarity, not dating the same types and stepping almost like outside of your comfort zone. Uh, getting some suitors coming into the picture and you get to pick and choose between who you want to invest the time with okay so don't go for those aggressive types that pursue you like um really strongly like th that can't really take no for an answer a lot of the times and this is for men and women as well but i feel like more so for women who like especially heterosexual women but i feel like it's across the board for all genders okay a lot of the times when you know you're 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 trying to work on yourself you're trying to close yourself off and then you know uh, a person finds you interesting and they come at you and they're really really aggressive and you tell them no i don't want this i don't want you to you're, you're coming on too strong and then you know like a big part of you feels like wow that's really flattering but if they don't know how to take no for an answer from the get-go, you know, they have boundary issues, okay? So rather than feeling like, oh, that's really impressive or that's really flattering, you should look at the situation in a more clear-headed and objective manner and think to yourself, I already said no, this person keeps pushing me. They have boundary issues. So being a little bit smarter about, you know, finding somebody that will really respect you as a person, that will really respect your needs, okay? If from the very get-go, they're so aggressive and they can't slow things down based on what you ask them, further down in that relationship, that relationship is going to be all about them. Your needs are not going to be met. So I feel like um, there might have been a, a series of, you know, dating bad uh, relationship partners who don't have the same amount of respect, okay? Who who can't really cater themselves to your emotional needs. And I feel like that's really important. So moving forward, I feel like a lot of you have learned, you know, the, the lesson here. And you're moving on and you are at a point where you're dating somebody. You are being smart about it, taking things slow 
putting your life first, I feel too, you know, thinking about like long term what you need to do and not thinking so much about how you have to cater your life or yourself to this relationship partner. So I feel that you're at a point where you're a lot more independent. You're thinking clearly about your own life independent of the other person, regardless of how emotionally in tune you both are. So this is, um, it, it looks very good. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of reciprocity here and mutual understanding. Um, I feel like your partner might feel a little bit neglected for those in relationships. So make sure you spend time like individual, you know, alone time with them, turn off your phone. Okay. And just, uh, be in the moment with them. If they have your, their phone, just make a pack. Just say like, let, let's just leave our, our electronics, you know, on silence. Let's spend time with each other. And I feel that it can lead to, you know, a very harmonious heartfelt type of communication. Okay. I feel some of you here are dating an earth sign who's probably on the way out. Okay. So, um, set, um, I'm sorry, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And, um, it seems to me that the relationship, there's a lot of strife. Okay. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of bickering. There's a lot of arguing and there's lack of, um, consensus, lack of agreement. I also feel this earth sign might be somebody that's adamantly pursuing you. And I feel like they have another relationship ongoing, or they could even be married and, um, be very careful if that's the case. Okay. Some of you with the earth sign, things are being taken to the next level and they can be very good. But others of you, I feel like knowingly, this is something you already know. I feel like there might be like a, a third party still lingering in this relationship that you need to be very, very clear about. Okay. So once again, if somebody is coming on so aggressively and they can't take no for an answer, it's not flattering. It's a, uh, it's bound, it's a breach of boundaries. So be very, very clear about that. Okay. Gemini's. I feel overall, there's a lot of, there's a very strong, you know, um, attraction, like physical attraction, sexual attraction. There's a very strong sense of trust here between you and a fire sign. Okay. So Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, I feel like a lot of you feel this might be the one that you want to go the distance with. And I feel like this person is very, very protective of you. Okay. Very protective of you. Um, so I'm going to leave you with that, uh, Gemini's. I hope the reading is helpful and I hope that it provides you with the proper guidance to navigate through the energy for this month. Um, it's going to be a busy month, you know, get yourself, um, like ready. Don't procrastinate on projects by the 19th or so. Um, if you procrastinate, you might feel a big, big time crunch for yourself. Okay. Also, um, I feel there's a lot of uh, energies for travel and movement. Okay. So a lot of long distance communication. So that is something that you want to set aside time for as well. So, you know, don't try to multitask when you're spending time one-on-one -on -one with another person. If you're Skyping them long distance, if you're having like a heartfelt conversation over the phone, um, make sure that you're not, you know, dithering with other things because I feel like they, they feel a little bit impatient and they feel like you're not prioritizing them. Okay. Uh, stay safe. Okay. Enjoy yourself. And I'll be back for the mid month reading. Take care. Bye-bye.